Good morning. The Lord says, as he entered the world, Behold, I come to do your will, O God. Beginning in the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My brothers and sisters, as we uh, celebrate the Feast of the Annunciation, we think of all the times we have not said yes to God's holy will in our own lives and repent of that as we call to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring each of us one day to life everlasting. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit and the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who willed that your word should take on the reality of human flesh in the womb of the Virgin Mary, grant, we pray, that we who confess our Redeemer to be God and man may merit to become partakers even in his divine nature, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. The first reading is a reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Lord spoke to Ahaz, saying, Ask for a sign from the Lord your God. Let it be deep as the netherworld or high as the sky. But Ahaz answered, I will not ask, I will not tempt the Lord. Then Isaiah said, Listen, O house of David, is it not enough for you to weary people? Must you also weary my God? Therefore, the Lord himself will give you this sign. The virgin shall be with child and bear a son, and he shall call him, and you shall call him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. The word of the Lord. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. Sacrifice or oblation you wish not, but ears open to obedience you gave me. Holocausts or sin offerings you sought not. Then said I, behold, I come. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. In the written scroll it is prescribed for me to do your will, O my God, is my delight, and your law is within my heart. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. I announced your justice in the vast assembly. I did not restrain my lips, as you, O Lord, know. Your justice I kept not hid within my heart. Your faithfulness and your salvation I have spoken of. I have made no secret of your kindness and your truth in the vast assembly. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. The second reading is a reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, it is impossible that the blood of bulls and goats takes away sins. For this reason, when Christ came into the world, he said, Sacrifice and offerings you did not desire, but a body you prepared for me. In holocausts and sin offerings you took no delight. 
Then I said, as it is written of me in the scroll, behold, I come to do your will, O God. First, he says, sacrifices and offerings, holocausts and sin offerings, you neither desire nor are delighted in. These are offered according to the law. Then he says, behold, I come to do your will. He takes away the first to establish the second. But this will we have been consecrated through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ once for all. The word of the Lord. My brothers and sisters, may our Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. The angel Gabriel was sent from God to a town of Galilee called Nazareth to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary. And coming to her, he said, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at what was said and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. And the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Behold, you shall conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. He will be great, and he will be called the Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give him the throne of David his father, and he will rule over the house of Jacob forever. And of his kingdom there will be no end. But Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I've had no relations with a man? And the angel said to her in reply, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son in her old age. And this is the sixth month for her who was called barren. For nothing will be impossible for God. And Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. And then the angel departed from her. The Gospel of the Lord. Oh, today we celebrate the Feast of the Annunciation. Of course, it's usually March 25th, which is exactly nine months to December 25th, but because of Holy Week, it's moved to now. And so, again, as always, it all begins with one woman. As the original sin began with one woman saying no to God's will, so we get Mary who says yes to God's will. And again, as I've said about it a thousand times, a million times, that we have one purpose in life to do God's holy will. Well, how do I know God's holy will, Father? Well, first we got to pray. We got to make that time. Two, we got to listen when we pray. Again, nobody here, but there are a lot of people in the world who just say a bunch of words, and they get their words in every day. Did you pray yesterday? Oh, yes, I said my rosary. I said my divine mercy chaplain. I said this. I said this. I said the prayer of St. Bridget. I said this prayer. And he, I, did you ever shut up long enough for God to say one word to you? I hate you, Father. I know. But you're going to keep doing your will if you don't shut up and listen. It's just that simple because God can't tell you what to do because you don't ever give him enough time to speak to you. So do you pray? Do you listen when you pray? And then finally, you must have a generous heart. That God, I don't want you to do what I want. Give me this, give me that. I want this, do this. Give me courage, take care of my family. I am here to do your will. So a generous heart. So again, we got to do God's will as Mary did. It means we got to pray, we got to listen when we pray, and we have to have a generous heart that I want your will more than my next breath. May you know his love today and forever. Amen. Now today we say the creed and we have to genuflect in the word, genuflect as it says in the word became man. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he was born of the incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day 
in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead, and the life in the world to come. Amen. Believing in this God, who would rather die than live without any of us, let's give to him these, our needs, and our petitions. We pray, as always, for our Holy Father, Pope Francis. We pray for all bishops, all priests, all religious women and men, that they would always say yes to God's holy will. We pray to the Lord. Let's pray for all world leaders. They would work for peace and for justice. We pray to the Lord. Let's pray for the end of the curse of abortion, that we would stop killing our children. And we pray for God's mercy on anyone who's had an abortion. We pray to the Lord. We pray for ourselves that we would always be people of prayer, that we would listen in prayer, and that we would be generous and always want God's holy will. We pray to the Lord. We pray for more vocations to the priesthood and religious life, especially from our parish. We pray to the Lord. We pray for those who are sick, that God in his mercy would heal them. We pray to the Lord. And finally, we pray for all those who have died. Remember all the poor souls in purgatory. Remember all the priests and religious on this, their anniversary of this, their death, especially Father Bartholomew McNavnew, Father Demetrius Major on this, their anniversaries. And we pray most especially this morning for Steve Pete Yerkowitz, for whom this Mass is being offered, that they would all know God's life and love forever in heaven. We pray to the Lord. And as always, we'll offer up this Mass also for you and for your intentions. So in the silence of your hearts, tell Jesus what you need and we'll offer up this Mass also for you and those intentions. We pray to the Lord. Father, give us the grace to always say yes to your holy will. We beg you these things, Father, in Jesus' name, amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God who is our Almighty Father. Be pleased, Almighty God, to accept your church's offering, so that she who is aware that her begin at her begin that her beginnings lie in the incarnation of your only begotten Son, may rejoice to celebrate his mysteries on this solemnity, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. 
Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For the Virgin Mary heard with faith that the Christ was to be born among men, and for men's sake, by the overshadowing power of the Holy Spirit, lovingly she bore him in her immaculate womb, that the promises to the children of Israel might come about, and the hope of nations be accomplished beyond all telling. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord. You are the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, he broke it and he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, to be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, O Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Lawrence, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, that we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. For it is through him, with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day 
our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Offer each other now his peace. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. For those of you at home unable to receive Jesus physically this morning, I'll receive Jesus physically in your name. But I ask you as always to make an act of faith and an act of spiritual communion. Begin by just saying, Lord Jesus Christ, I believe that you are God. And I believe that you became a man, that you died on the cross to take away our sins. Thank you, Jesus, for dying for me. Jesus, I believe that you're truly present in the most blessed sacrament. And since I cannot receive you now physically, I beg you to come into my heart spiritually. Come into my heart. Take control of my life. Be my Lord and God and Savior. Fill me with your Holy Spirit and make me your disciple. I love you, Lord Jesus Christ, and I surrender my life to you forever as you have surrendered your life for me. Now just close your eyes and ask the Lord to embrace you. Feel Jesus put his arms around you. Put your head on his chest. Listen to his heartbeat. Every time his heart beats, he says, I love you. I love you. Let Jesus Christ now love you. May the body, blood, soul, and divinity of Jesus keep us all safe for eternal life. Amen.
Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and his name will be called Emmanuel. It's a reminder today the offices are closed for the eclipse, and I'll go over right after we're done here at this Mass and put away the Blessed Sacrament until tomorrow after this Mass. Of course, you can always stop and spend time with Jesus. He'll still be there, but in the tabernacle, not in the monstrance. Let us pray. Confirm in our minds the mysteries of the true faith, we pray, O Lord, so that confessing that he who was conceived of the Virgin Mary is true God and true man, we may, through the power of his resurrection, merit to attain eternal joy. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless, keep, and protect you, he who is Father and Son and Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Have a blessed day.